Alright guys. Let's finally unveil what's inside this test tube setup. You're not gonna believe it. Hi guys. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Bruma Ants channel. In this video I want to show you what I've just found in my backyard. A small hint, it's a new member of the Bruma Ants colony. But that's not all. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video, I have a little surprise just for you. I promise you will not regret it. Let's get right into it. Before I start with the actual video, I want to thank you all for helping me reach the amazing milestone of 1000 subscribers. This is definitely one of the most significant and satisfying achievements for a small YouTube channel like mine. Think about it. 1000 of you have decided to press that little button under the video that says subscribe. 1000. That's like two full jumbo jets. I will never thank you enough for that. The only thing I can say is that I really hope to continue to provide high quality content for you all, and at the same time share some knowledge and some cool ideas along the way. Thank you again for the fantastic support. Now back to the video. Before I can show you what's inside this test tube setup, I need to tell you a short story. Recently, the temperature in my area has dropped significantly, reaching below freezing. For this reason, as we do every year at this time, we decided to light a fire in our fireplace to keep us warm. I grabbed my coat and headed outside to the wood pile, where we keep a ready supply of logs for the fire. As I was picking out some wood, I noticed a strange animal moving near the bottom of the pile. The first thing that came to my mind was that the mysterious animal was some sort of wood-eating insect. These types of insects are extremely common to find in wood piles like this, especially in my area. Now I was super curious to find out more about it. I cautiously approached the animal, eager to uncover the mystery of what it was. As I got closer, I realized my initial assumption was wrong. The animal was not an insect, but, in fact, a queen ant. She was probably hibernating inside the wood pile, patiently waiting for the next spring to lay her first batch of eggs and start her own ant colony. It is fascinating to think about the life cycle of these tiny creatures, and how they can easily adapt to extremely harsh environments like this one. After this brief but needed introduction, we can finally unveil what's inside this test tube setup. Let's remove the protective tinfoil. There she is. A Crimidogaster scutellaris queen. Isn't it fantastic? She seems very healthy. Her gaster seems pretty full, a signal that she was properly fed by her fellow workers in her old colony. As you can see, she still has one of her wings attached to her body. That is not at all an issue, and does not mean that the queen is not fertilized. If you think about it, the location of the finding makes perfect sense. This particular species of Crimidogaster loves to nest in wooden nests. They usually inhabit dead logs and trees, and they really like low humidity environments. If you're not new to the channel, you may remember that I already have a Crimidogaster scutellaris colony. They are currently hibernating in my garage, peacefully resting inside a test tube setup I placed inside an ant store arena. I'm going to put the newly found queen in the garage, near my other Crimidogaster colony. Most queen ants wait until the warmer season to start laying eggs, so it's likely that she will do the same. I'm sure she will be happy in her new home, and I really hope that she will thrive once the weather is suitable for starting a new colony. Now it's time to say goodbye to her. Let's hope she's fertilized, and that next year she will be ready to start her own little ant empire. I can't wait. Now to the moment you've all been waiting for. As you probably already saw in the title of the video, it's giveaway time again. Today I'm thrilled to announce the 1000 subscribers giveaway. This little gift is my way to thank you all for your support, and for giving back something to this amazing community. Now to the prize. This time I decided to make things a little different than usual. What do I mean by that? Well, this time the prize will be a surprise, and will be announced during the actual draw. Exciting! Isn't it? I can only say one thing. 
I'm pretty sure that the prize will not disappoint you. As always, the giveaway is open to everybody, no matter where you live or what language you speak. To take part in the draw you just have to follow these three steps. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, and write down below in the comment section the word giveaway. The registration process starts today, and will end on the 19th of February. That's more than a month, so you have plenty of time to join. Keep in mind that the comments inserted after this date won't be considered for the giveaway. The winner will be announced on the 23rd of February, so save the date. I've created a Google Calendar event for both dates, just to make sure you won't forget to check if you happen to be the winner. You can find the links in the description of this video. I wish everybody the best of luck. May the fortune be with you. If you are new to the amazing hobby of ant keeping, you should definitely check out this video tutorial. In this one, I explain in detail how to start ant keeping with as little as $1. That's a steal. See you soon in another video.